surprise, surprise, you're late. Two years too late. About two and a half now, but what does it matter? And it's definitely not too early because I got my clock fixed and I know exactly which way time is going. And I see that in about 12 seconds, something very interesting is going to happen. Or very boring, depending on what you think is interesting or not. And if you can't tell what's about to happen, that's not on me. It's actually the wire that's going to be on you. Right now. Um, is my clock broken? What oh, uh, oh, work, damn you. Oh, this is embarrassing. Here I thought I had a little grasp of sanity before something else come to sweep it away, and yet apparently I don't know anything more than you do. Ah, well, this is weird. How are you? Good? Great. Well, I don't really care, but, you know, I, maybe I do. Do you think I'm going to be in the Iron Lung movie? I don't know what this is. Preliminary model assessment. Okay. You will conduct a series of standard prompts to assess the latest prototype developed by Pandemonium Technologies. Choose normal if prototype has responded correctly. Choose not normal if otherwise. Where is this? Before you is the plaything prototype. He is a state-of-the-art talking companion intended for all ages. His features include lifelike movement, a lovely singing voice, uh -huh. and human-like response. Just like the wharf bot. The plaything is capable of functioning as your family, your friend, your entertainment. He is unlike any other companion. Kind of like a wharf bot. At Pandemonium, we take pride in the quality of our electronic puppets, ensuring that customer experience is nothing short of positive. Arm area. Oh man, don't stimulate my arm area. Am I supposed to feel this in my arm area? If the prototype has responded correctly, his arm to your right should remain raised. Looks raised to me. That's great. Normal. Arm to my left should remain raised. Yup! Dad, look at that face! Look at that face! That's so normal. Head area! Sure! Should be tilting to my right, okay? A little tilt to the right. Yeah! Look at that smile! That's a normal- why inflate here? I don't like that. This is all going great. Can't imagine how this is bad. Tilting to my left, okay, good. Oh, yeah. Is that normal? Normal. Eye area. You could just say the eyes. Should be looking to my right. Like looking over my right shoulder. Yup, that's normal. Should be looking to my left. Well, can't fault perfection. That's incredible. a little weird we don't usually have three but is it gonna be looking right at me is it looking is that the whole deal is it looking right at me is it gonna be looking right at me i'm willing to bet it's gonna be looking right at me he should be looking oh he's looking all right oh he's looking oh yeah good stuff this is oh Prototype singing voice will activate through a pre-recorded prompt. I, I thought you were lying about the old great thing, singing voice. If prototype does not respond correctly, please ensure speakers are placed properly. What? Please sing Daisy Bell. Well, hey there. Sure. <clears throat> Daisy, Daisy, 
give me your answer do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage. I can't afford a carriage, but you'll look sweet upon the seat. Well, I don't see anything wrong here. Sound great to me? Good stuff. Please sing happy birthday. Well, hey there. Sure. <clears throat> And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for... <sighs> Introducing... Well, hey there, kids! It's me, Gozo, your favorite clown! Who wants to see a magic trick? I see some hands! One, two, three, four... Why, so many friends came to celebrate today! I have a little present for you, birthday girl. But before that, everybody please sing happy birthday. Uh... Seem normal to me! What am I doing here? What am I doing? Response to conversation. I don't know what I'm doing here! Uh-huh. Hi. Well, hey there, hey there. Sounds good to me. I'm doing just well. Thank you. All good here. I'm an electronic puppet, but I'm a smart one. Seems good to me. I was created to sing, make jokes, and so much more. I am a talking companion intended for all ages. I can be your family, your friend, your... Uh-huh! Why did the cupcake go to the doctor's office? Why? Because it was feeling crummy. Ha, ha, ha. We have the same laugh. Ha, ha, ha. I have a good one. What type of tape do kidnappers use? Esk tape. Why didn't you come home to... That's a totally different subject, but very normal. <laughs> very normal. Dude, huh? What's up? Is that a birthday party? <laughs> Who says that? Dude, that is a satisfying party. <laughs> ah, okay, this is just mean. This is just mean. Why would you be mean like this? Chris, look! They got a clown and everything! So sad. You think that guy has a family? I don't know. I don't know what you're saying about a birthday party. Maybe he's got a dying clown wife or something. Man, that's really funny. Haha. <laughs> and makes a lot of sense. He's really going extra with the balloon animals, huh? It's all balloon dogs, dude. Yeah. That's normal. It's nice. Hey, so uh, earlier I picked up Cole from his school like you asked. The kid was getting hungry, so we went to Hardy's for dinner. You don't have to bring home cake from that birthday gig. I got you covered. Just... It's 9 p.m. Where are you? Cole found your pager at your nightstand. He brings it with him to school. Refuses to give it to the police, saying it's the only thing of yours that he has left. I've been hearing about missing cases happening recently. Your son is worried. I'm worried. Where the fuck are you? I sincerely hope you only fucked off to elope with that birthday kid's mom. What? Jesus, Nick. Call me back ASAP. Was that like a... Was that a conversation that occurred? Rick. Rick? Nick. Nick Miller. That's... That's me. Welcome, Nick. Go ahead and tell me about yourself. I grew up in a small town all my life until I moved to a different state two years ago with my son. 
it's been a challenge trying to provide for us both. I've been doing odd jobs until I saw your job listing. I'm uh, looking for my next professional job. Odd jobs? I... Yeah? I know just about as much what as time? you guys do. I've been following along just the same. My but, current um, job is... No idea. Entertaining children. Could you demonstrate? <clears throat> Well, hey there, kids. It's me, Gozo, your favorite clown. Who wants to see a magic trick? Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Thanks. You're hired. What? You're hired. We could use someone with remarkable talent like you here at Pandemonium Technologies. <laughs> that's... that's great. When do I start? Please let me go! I okay. won't tell anyone what down. you do here! I won't tell! I swear! Please Leave the head. Yeah, we don't God. want to damage it. It hurts! Stop! It hurts! What the fuck are you doing to me? <laughs> Perfectly normal here. All normal. His transformation is finally complete. <laughs> now, to test him out. Hello. Well, hey there. How are you? I'm doing just well. Thank you. What are you? I'm an entertainment companion. Excellent. Do you remember who you are? Right. Well, that was that was really something. It just reminds me of this. And I'm not trying to be like, look, I'm trying to one up here, but it just reminded me of this. And I haven't thought about this in a spell. Well, that's terrifying. One moment. Marginally better. Uh, worse. Uh, better? Uh, worse. It's much worse. I was kind of proud of this one. Ah, there we are. Welcome. Uh, pretend I remembered your name here. This is a pre recorded message anyway. I would not want to be in the same building as that thing, I tell you me. Anyway, thank you, whoever you are, for agreeing to test out the Wolf Stash Automated Interview Automaton. Or for short. Let's start off with some quick calibration. All you need to do is sit back, relax, and listen for some numbers. Okay? Here we go. I have no idea what you're actually going to say due to the fact that, as I said before, this message is pre-recorded. But if you did hear something, now would be the time to speak up. Anyway, it sounded like nightmare garbage to me. Oh, I forgot to mention. Please do not say the word nightmare or uh, garbage or nightmare garbage or any combination of those words. The why is just a little bit sensitive. A little touchy-feely. Well, not really touchy-feely. Well, well, actually, really touchy-feely. Depending on your definition of touchy and feely, it's really got to... <laughs> I just... Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh at my own thing here. This is just... I, I forget why 
I was like, yeah, this needs to exist now and then. When did I, when was this made? March 6th, 2021. That's right. Um, what was I doing at that time? I don't even remember. Yeah, it was a, like, I just remembered this one. It's a very fun one. Anyway, they just made me think of it. I'm not saying that this is better than that. It's just what it is. It made me think of it. Um, so you pro guys didn't notice because it was cut down too long in gaps between dialogue. The the two simple options is something, but also there wasn't any game really here. There I don't I doubt there was actually anything that would have changed if I had actually done a different option there. So I I don't really know, but maybe there was, but it wasn't evident. So it's not really like not much for someone to do besides sit back and watch. But anyway, not bad, not bad. I'm not trying to be too critical, but just just saying some things, just saying. Just saying. Moving on. Welcome to Home Alone. No, this isn't the same game you've seen before. They just happen to take place in a similar house, which I imagine is probably an asset that you can download for free. But let's see what happens. 8 p.m. Oh. Another boring long day. Nothing anymore. It's not really a sentence. I am hungry. Oh no, this place does look a little different. Okay, good. All right, that's weird. Well, that's not right. <laughs> oh, that's not right. That, oh, that's what a lovely picture. Oh, what a lovely picture. Um, I know where my kitchen is, definitely, 100%, um, but if you could just point it out for me, that'd be great. That's my bathroom. Uh-huh. Uh... Ah! Okay, good. All right, let's get something to- yum, 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 I'm insatiable, I'm unstoppable. Oh, I'm done. I need to finish some work on my PC. Is it upstairs? I'm guessing it's upstairs. Hello. It's my laundry. Is not my bedroom, I don't think. Do I live here by myself? Am I all by my lonesome? What? Where have you been, Mia? What are you- who are you talking to? What? What? Huh? Okay. Oh, good pictures. Again, same pictures, but good. Laundry? What's back here? Okay. It was literally the first- if I just opened the first door, yeah, it would have been there. Okay, whatever. Oh, God. I'll go to bed. Yeah, I'll do that! Hello. Someone at the door? I should probably answer it. I know it's not this way, I'm just... Uh-huh. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'm on the way! Coming! Okay, it's not on the back porch. Who is it? Who's there? Hello? Ah. Uh-huh. Hi, who are you? Alright. Hello! Hi, what's up? What's up, Dad? <laughs> what's up, amigo? Can I get some cash? Uh Yeah! Of course! Thank you. You're welcome. All right, okay. Well, that was nothing. All right, cool. What a lovely person. What a nice guy. All this is so good. F 
5 a.m. A good solid three and a half hours of sleep. I'm so hungry, need to check the fridge. Can I stop eating for just even one second? Maybe I shouldn't have scarfed down absolutely everything in existence. I have no food. All right, I need to go to the store. I'll have to go to work in an hour. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Hello. Hello. I feel like I could have just gotten breakfast on the way to work. I need to go to the store. Hi. All right. Oh, Kidoki. Yum 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 yum. All right, I'm full up. I just did the arm stick out and dump it all into my bag. Can I have this, please? Why are you here alone? Yes. Why? Oh, are you here alone? Don't you know that a murderer appeared in the region? I ain't afraid of no murderers. All right, I'll be ten dollars for such a. <laughs> I was gonna pay. I was gonna pay, dude. I was gonna pay. All right, sure, I'll take it. Thank you! Was this game developed by someone who doesn't live in America and that's what they think happens in America? Because how do you know so well? How do you know American culture so well? I can't tell you how many times I've been lended a gun by the convenience store clerk to protect myself because murderers entered the area and everyone got a little blip on their radar that was like, whoop whoop, you're in trouble! Better pass out those- I have a gun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. No, you don't! What? <laughs> wait, wait. What? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? What are you talking about? No! Oh, that was a lot of walking I had to do. Are you kidding me? All right, fine. If I know what I'm doing, I'll just go straight to it. Glump. What if I glump, 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 but I don't eat all of it? What if I don't eat all of it? Is that, do I have to eat all of it? Am I going to eat all of it? Should I? I have to eat all of it, don't I? I do. Oh, never mind. I'm going to leave some for tomorrow, so that way I don't have to go to the store because I'm not a glutton. What's up? You're 40. There you go. All right. Bye. Good night. Aren't I so nice? Oh, my food! Someone ate all my food! Bro! How could you do this to me? Who stole my food? My window's wide open! Bro! Oh, my food! Oh, man! Do I not take the gun? Is that what I need to do? Because I really don't know what the hell I need to do, and I'm only gonna visit one more try. So if, if, if this is a thing where it's like, I take the gun, and I go bang, bang, bang in the air, and that's clearly not the right answer. Yum. Then uh, I think I'm not gonna take it. Yes, why? I'll be careful. All right, $10. Uh, I'm not gonna take it. As you wish. You got it. Thanks, bud. Unless this is gonna end in my imminent demise. But that was the bad end, and I don't know how to get the good end. But it probably doesn't involve shooting a gun in the air. So what do I do about this? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait. 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 Wait! Wait, so am I supposed to shoot him? Because that's what I did! What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, I gotta do it again, I guess. Speed run. Alright, I'll be careful, thank you. I'm going to blast this guy so hard. What's up, pal? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 no! Oh! What gun did that guy give me? You killed the murderer that the police have been trying to find for over five years.
That's great. You know what? Whatever. It's good. I really thought that there were going to be more involved scares with, like, being in the house alone. I thought that it was going to be, you know, about being home alone, but, uh, but apparently not. All right, well, that was that. That was great. Um, moving on. Oh, oh, okay, all right, okay, turning that, wow. This is the man in the park too, the second man in the park. You remember the man in the park? It was a game that I played a little bit ago in Three Scary Games. There was a man in the park. I won't spoil how it ended, but... Someone was up with the man in the park. Uh, but this is the sequel, the highly anticipated sequel, apparently. So I'm gonna play it. Oh. Alright, can I... Is it safe to turn on my volume again? Probably not. Oh, wow. Wow, it's even more... Oh, like... Graphically fidelitous than ever. Hi! Alright. Got you there, didn't I? Oh man, you should have seen your face. You should have seen yours. Okay. I'm sorry, it was just a little scare for old time's sake. Timmy and I were sorry about last time. We didn't mean to eat you, it's just... It's this park. Something sinister lies beneath it. You must help destroy it and restore the park back to its peaceful state. My brother sitting on the other bench is responsible for this. He has lost a page from his master plan here in the park. He has also kidnapped Timmy! Find the page and bring it to me. We will then be able to use it to rescue Timmy and return the park to its peaceful state. Whatever you do, do not give the page to my brother, no matter what he says. All our lives depend on it! Okay. Well, what does your brother have to say about this? Hey! Hi, how you doing? Greetings, young man. I'm Harold. Do not fear me! I'm not here to hurt you, unlike my brother. Henry and his demon of a grandson, Timmy. They have wreaked havoc on what used to be a peaceful park long enough, and they must be stopped. I wrote a plan to stop them, but they stole one of the pages and hid it here in the park. You must help me find it so that we can defeat them. You must also not believe anything Henry says, and whatever you do, do not give the page to him. Would you really trust someone that ate you? You know, you make a good point there. But I don't know, he definitely had that award-winning smile right at the beginning there. Okay, whatever. Yep, uh-huh. Okay, so what you guys are saying is that one of you is, speaks in riddles, and one of you speaks in rhymes, and one of you tells the truth, and the other lies all the time. Well, I don't know. La, lee, la, 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 la. I see something in there, but it's not the page. I need to find that first. It's a shovel, though. You think that the shovel could possibly open up? Why am I getting, like... Man, I should bust out the power washer and clean this bad boy. Needs a little washing over here. Huh. Chocolate, eh? Huh. I see. An odd patch of dirt. Do I even want to know what's buried under there? But it might be the page. Might be the glorious page I'm looking for. Yeah, right, not doing that again. What's... what am I... hello? <gasps> is this an owl? Is this a cat? Is it a bat? Am I... It's a cat. Now, yeah, hello there, I'm Mr. Whiskers. What can I do for you? Oh, you want this blue page? Well, if you bring me something delicious, perhaps I just might let you have it. <laughs> oh, and it better be good. Or, and hairy, or else you will certainly face an unfortunate demise. Uh-huh. You want a chocolate bar? I bet it's hairy from the trash can. Oh, yeah. It's a mold spot with a bit of hair growing out of it. Maybe Mr. Whiskers... I bet! Oh, I bet! Here you go! Meow. Let's see what you've brought me. Wait just a meow -ment. Park trash candy? You've got to be kidding me! I think I have something else in mind. Two of six?! Well, I didn't like the puns anyway, so it's not really my fault. Hello. Hi. Hello. Nice head. How are you? How are you? So the answer, of course, is just because it was hair growing out of the chocolate doesn't mean that that was a good idea. So, yeah. Can I have that? Thank you. Yep. Uh-huh. Right. Now, what if I... What if I grab this? 
Okay, not weird at all. And what if I dig up this? Is there anything that a cat would like under here? Oh, yep. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Perfect. Here's a blue page. Can I read it? Well, I'm not- you look, man, as much as I want to play the chaos route, but I feel like this is the right answer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give it to Harold here. Haha, <laughs> here you go! You brought me the blue page! This dimension really- Is full of idiots, isn't it? You don't need to answer, I was talking about you. With this page, I can destroy this last dimension! My plan is complete! Okay. Why do I feel like that's the frickin' sound that- <laughs> Vaporize your dimension. I don't even know how you're reading this because you don't exist. Well... That's great. This has been so good. I'm- can I just go for the page? I just really would like to actually just go for the page now. Can I have that? I should be getting home. Ah. Uh. Maybe that's the- maybe that's the truest ending of all! I'll see you later! Oh. Uh, uh oh. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh boy. I should have talked to strangers. You thought this was a safe choice, but you were wrong. My body is never found- GREAT! GREAT! Great, good, great, great, great. Hi, yes. I guess I should have known that the truth was being told because Timmy's not here. I don't know if I need to talk to you, but it'll be fine as I'm going towards the cat. All right, good. Hey, what was your name? Harold? No, Harold. Harold? Harold. You want some chocolate after this? You found the blue page. You must take it to the interdimensional park trash candy realm and save Timmy. Timmy will be able to read the page. My eyes aren't so good these days. And tell you what to do. You can get there using the park slide. It's nicknamed the Death Slide, but don't worry about that. Just remember, left, right, left. All right, left, right, left. Left, right, left. Okay. Left. Right. Left! Man, this is a fun death slide. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, hi Timmy. How are you doing? How you doing, buddy? Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, man, you don't look so good. Uh, hi Timmy. Hey man, how you been? Look, I'm really sorry about before, in the man in the park one, when I ate you. You see, Grandpa and I come from another dimension where humans are a natural source of food. Let me try to explain. This is the interdimensional park slide trash candy realm. It connects all the interdimensional slides. Harold sabotaged the realm, that's how Grandpa and I ended up in your park. And now he's trapped me in here while he carries out his evil plan. The only hope is to repair the realm using the secret code on a special blue page. Oh gee golly! You brought the page! This will save us, let me see. Okay. Okay, the page says to enter the number of blue slides you see in this room into the computer. Oh, that's easy enough. I was expecting a mislight puzzle. Don't screw it up. Oh boy. Um... I see three so far. I don't think that there's another blue one lurking up there. I think it's three. Why do you guys have computers? F three. I said it! I restored order to the trash candy room and saved the po- What? Oh! Yippee! Oh, wahoo! Ah, uh, no candy. Alright! Huh. If you're reading this, the park has been saved, Harold's been defeated, and Timmy and I are back home with Mr. Whiskers. We adopted him, and are teaching him that puns are really bad, and say a lot about a person who uses them. Because of your persistence, you have restored order and made it possible for all of us to live. Please take the partially eaten candy bars. Okay. 
As the hairy, moldy, and gritty feeling chocolate melts on your tongue under the warm golden rays of the sun, you think to yourself, Park trash candy never tasted so good. You smile as you leave to go home. You stop by the drugstore for your favorite menthol cigarettes, and the cashier asks, How about some eye drops, my friend? Your eyes are looking a little red. Mwahaha! 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 All right, well, that was some. I, you know, I never knew I needed it till this moment. So anyway, that's it for three scary games. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. Uh, if you saw any weird animatronics at the beginning of this uh, video, don't worry about that. That's, that's nothing. That's nothing at all. But also, if you'd like to see this, go check it out. I'm pretty proud of this. The model was made by Emil Mako. Edited by, voiced by some bozo. All right. Thank you. Have a lovely day. What? What? You really expect a jump scare here? You really expect there to be just another jump scare? Not everything has to end the same way. Why don't you go talk to the wire if you want a few jump scares? You are a little late, but the thing about time and the internet and YouTube in general is that you can go back to anything at any time and check it out. It exists. It's there, waiting for you. Have you visited Yancey in a while or boo-hoo made you think about that now? I bet you haven't even found all the paths in in space. Have you even found my secret ending? Have you even found the one I had in heist? You don't even know about that, do you? <laughs> anyway. Uh, just click the link. Just do the thing. Just make a choice. It's yours, really. Someone said that. Something like that. Anyway, that's all. Ta-ta!